Hi everyone, um, it's the 14th of October and <clears throat> tomorrow will have been uh, the month anniversary since I've been living in London, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, this week has been absolutely amazing, spending more time with the young people, getting to know the XLP team members even more. Um, a really good social time this weekend, weirdly enough. Um, I had this opportunity, give me a moment, just a, a visual thing to add in. Uh, I went to Wembley to uh, see England play uh, against San, San Marino. And that was really good, winning 5-0. Um, got to say, Joe Hart looks pretty bored, uh, not having many many uh, shots taken at him. But, I mean, he got uh, everyone's applause and cheering when he actually did get a touch of the ball. Um, any San Marino fans there? Uh, well played. Uh, your team did really well to hold England back for over 40 minutes. That's pretty good for you guys, you know. Um, yeah, it's been really interesting to uh, be doing youth work, just to see relationships building with all the young people and stuff. And yeah, been busy, but absolutely enjoyed it. Nothing wrong with it at all. Um, there's been thing, this thing that's been going on inside me, like my passion for youth work has always been there. It's been, and it's just a constant thing. I since I was uh, coming up to sixteen, I think it was. Yeah, coming up to sixteen, I've always had this passion for youth work since I was 15 and now it's something that's inside me that wants to explode that passion's trying to get bigger as if like it feels like God say yes I want you to be a youth worker and to serve me but there's something even bigger planned for you and you haven't heard a bit of it at all so it's like now I'm sort of having this like spiritual like wrestle with God saying come on God just tell me what it is but we have to be patient, and that's sometimes we find out. Sometimes we find out really difficult in this day and age to actually be patient. We just want things there and now. This could take weeks or months or maybe years to find out what this big plan God's got for me. That's even bigger than this plan for me to be a youth worker. You know, it's really interesting. But I'm looking forward to hearing about it. So yeah. Bible, uh, Bible passage just uh, not long ago, and it's from Mark chapter four, uh, verses twenty six to twenty nine, which is the uh, the parable of the growing seeds. So, uh, if you've got your Bible, check it out. Otherwise, I'll quickly read it out now. Um, this is from the NIV version. He also said, "This is what the kingdom of God is like: a man scatters seed on the ground, night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up." The seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself the saw produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts a sickle to it, because the harvest has come. I thought I'll try and add some Bible verses to these video blogs, just to sort of describe what I'm going for at the moment. And I think that really speaks for the when I went realised the relationships building. The fact that the kingdom of God is like this growing seed that without me knowing like night and day it's growing and I guess in the same way that's how relationships grow. They don't happen in an instant. It grows slowly and we don't realise it until later on when we actually see things happening. So like with the wheat, the different parts of it could be the fact that the young people are telling me more about their life, like their families and just how they're doing and stuff. It's it's a massive step towards that relationship. And I guess it's also that influence that we as youth workers can make to young people and we will not realise it until we really see its full like its full growth later on. So it's interesting, I really encourage those that are in youth work. I mean I'm, I've only started and I know many of you got way loads more experience than me, but just to realise how much you have done with the young people, you may not realise it but you have done loads. And yeah, I think I've also got to talk about now about my, my XRP teammates, I do it every single week, but I've got to keep it going. Um, they are absolutely incredible. Um, the, our friendships are just building more and more and we're just having such a good laugh. And I'm going to know more of the um, other, other members of XRP in the gap year and the other borough teams. And just spending time with them was really nice, especially like this weekend. 
some of them was really good and I mean some of them I mean they may not who they know exactly who they are but I mean I've just got to know them in a way that I just know how much they're going to do this year and how much they're going to do in their future and <laughs> I pretty much look up to every single member of XLP because they have so many gifts and talents and I just really encourage you guys to keep doing what you're doing because you're doing an amazing job so yeah thanks for listening a little bit different to my normal video vlogs but I'll um, update you guys again soon see ya